Endangering animals at pitchers. Now, we've, this is one of the assignments we've done already. I think last time we worked on it was 3.3, so I guess that would have been the last time we were doing assignments. So expect to go back there, and we're just going to copy and paste that code. But again, get, make sure you're not doing this continually in, in Code HS from the last assignment. Get out of Code HS in the canvas like I am in, and then re-enter Code HS from the launch external here, which takes us to Code HS. So again, it's an endangered animals assignment, which we've been doing already. We've been setting up all that information ourselves, but today we're going to be adding pictures, I guess. So copy and paste the code from 3.3.6. Yeah, there we go. Again, we've, we've already started this web page, but now we're going to be adding a little bit more information. I just assume we're going to be adding pictures. But take a minute, find that code, copy it, and then paste it into... Uh, into this assignment, then we'll get started. So the assignment, copy your HTML from endangered animals, add color coding that you started in the lesson, in the last lesson. Yeah, we did that. Uh, that's this coding right here. You will add pictures to your page now. Under each animal's list, Add a picture of the animal. If you cannot find a picture of the exact animal, find a picture of a closely related animal. Be sure to cite any pictures that you use. Then give each image an ID. Remember that IDs should be unique. Using the IDs, give each picture a different border. Using the border style attribute, look in the docs for some of the values you can use to get, uh, can give to border style. So that's, that's just right here, right? We got the output. You got test cases and then docs. So it's, by the way, the docs item right there, the docs document is very large. And if I remember right, the border style is, I don't know, it's on the latter half of that document. But in any case, with this, we're ready to get started. So it says, under each animal's list, add a picture of the animal. So remember the list, we had the scientific name, we had where they, where they live, and then if they're endangered or not. So each, each animal has three different list items there. It said, put these under the list. So I've given myself some space to put in the information that we're, we're trying to put. So we're trying to put in a, a picture. Okay. So remember, that's an image. And then SRC is the source. So I've just, I've just put in this coding right here. So once I find the animal whatever these are, Anoa's lowland Anoa, mountain Anoa, the giant sable antelope, and the gelada, gelada, whatever. Once I find pictures of these suckers, I can just copy the, um, the website, the web address, and then put it in here, okay? Or the, just again, wherever the source is that you're getting it from. So you probably don't have the same animals that I do, but you're just going to look it up. Go into Google, go into Safari, whatever your Chromebooks have. I guess it'd be Chrome. And find, uh, find pictures of your animals. And don't forget to cite these. I think I failed to really cite pictures in the past for this class, but don't forget to cite your pictures. For me, I went to Wikipedia. I guess this is Wikimedia. Whatever. And I found pictures of these suckers. So I think these are actual pictures of them. Are they actual pictures of them? I really don't care. I just want to know that I can get the pictures on there. It's really all I'm looking for. And I've cited each, each of these at wikipedia.org. And so that's my, that's my citation. Um, again, this, this stuff that's going in there, this, this web address is just, um, it's just copy and paste. So hopefully you're just copy and pasting those because I don't want to type in every single character from that. I mean, you're welcome to it. Just, I know I would make mistakes. All right. That's, that, that's it for me. I can, I can go to the output. So this is my output. This is what I had before. So there are no pictures from before. But uh, now that we have pictures in here and the, and the citation from where we got it from, when I click on reload, there's going to be pictures. Now, the sizes of these pictures from the ones that I found were quite large. So once I do this, you're probably not going to see much more than Lowland to know with the first three bullet points, and then it's going to have a picture underneath it, uh, like you can see right here. So again, I, I can't see the whole picture, but it's there. 
I just don't have enough space to move this over. I want to see more of the code than I do of the picture. But that looks pretty good. Uh, just that there was more to the assignment than just putting in the pictures because we've done that before. It says, give each image an ID. Now, what ID are you going to give your image? I don't care. It doesn't matter. And I'm going to put it before my image source so that we can actually see the code because you can see some of the coding goes way off of the coding screen for us because I did this on my iPad and this is a PowerPoint presentation so I can't actually go over because this is a picture. But in the image tag, I'm going to give it an ID. Each one of these is going to have its own ID. Now it says make it a unique ID. So I'm going to put ID equals and you, you'll probably name yours something different. I just named mine after the animals. So for example, I have an, an uh, I got an Anoa up here, and I have a second Anoa. So I gave these two Anoa IDs, um, but I, I named them different Anoas. You'll see. I think this is Anoa, this is Anoa 1. It doesn't matter, though, as long as they're different. And then this one, of course, is just an antelope. And then this one, uh, where am I? this one was the Anoa. This one is the ant antelope. There we go. And then this one is the gelada. So that's what I did. Now, again, notice for my first Anoa animal, um, I've just said it's Anoa. Could I have just said A? Yes, I could have. And again, that's where you get to be creative here. But I like to say, hey, make this ID Anoa. Because again, if we put in more code, if, like, if we put in more animals in here and we had other Anoas uh, that, I don't know, I guess they were the same or something like that, you could, you could give those the same ID so that the image has this same ID, which we're going to change the border style for these. So you can see again, Anoa. The second animal that I chose was also an, an Anoa. So I just named it Anoa 1. Now, if I wanted the second Anoa to have the same um, uh, features as the first one, then I would take the one off, right? And then, then they'd have the same ID so that when we get to the cascading style sheet, Whatever um, characteristic we apply to the ANOA ID, it would apply to both. But I want them to be different because it says each image ID needs, uh, each, each image needs its own ID. So I had to change these so that they are different. And again, you can see the second one is an antelope, and the fourth one, uh, sorry, the third one is an antelope. The fourth one is a monkey of some type, a gelato, whatever. Uh, and again, you could have just said one, two, three, four. It doesn't matter. You could be creative there if you want to be or just um, name them whatever you want. But again, I've named them these specific IDs because it's relatable to the actual animal, which I do recommend doing. All right. Well, from there then, we got to go back up to the cascading style sheet and actually put the ID in there. So we have regular tags. We have these three classes, which we've already done, and now we're ready for the IDs. So remember, the ID is going to have the hashtag, and we had four different IDs. We had Anoa, Anoa1, Antelope, and then Monkey. So your, whatever yours are, if they're different, you can't say Anoa here, Anoa1, Antelope, and Monkey. It has to be whatever, whatever IDs you put in there. So, uh, and, and don't forget your, your fancy squiggly brackets here either. Okay, so the border style, it says change the border styles, right? So I need to give each picture a different border. That means we need to find four different border styles to use. And yeah, you could, you could put this in right now, the border style stuff. But let's go to the documents, the docs. And in the document, again, this is, I think this, if I remember right, it's quite a ways down in the doc because it's quite large. But in border style, it says we got well, we only have four different styles. So I have to use each one for each of these different animals right here. So again, it's, it's border style, border dash style. And then you choose which one you want for these. And I mean, we should only have four animals in there. I just put these in order. So my first one's solid. The second one is dotted, dashed is the third one. And then double is the fourth one. I mean, mix those up as much as you like, but I just... We're just, we're just trying to show that we can do it, right? So 
Uh, and again, keep this in mind. Remember, if I had kept the second Anoa in, under this ID, what, this border style, which I'm going to have a solid, it would give that picture a, also a border style that's solid. Okay. But from this, you'll have to scroll through your, through your pictures and then see to make sure that the border style that you give each image is, uh, it, it does have these, okay? But I've given these border styles to these four animals. Each one is different, so I can go to the output now. Here's my output. And again, this is the picture that we're seeing before. It doesn't have a border. When I click on reload, it should have a solid border around it. So I click on reload. All right, that's, um, this is the second one. That's, it changed the picture. It, it scrolled down. This one is the second Anoa. And since I didn't really care about the animal, I just put whatever was on Wikipedia. I forget which animal it was, which Anoa it is, or what it's called. But if, if you were to expand this and look at it, which you can do on your computers, you can see that it's, uh, it's, the, correct, it's the correct animal. But it is dashed. And again, if, if you were to scroll up, the top one would be solid. The third one would have... Well, I guess I can't tell if that's dashed or dotted, so maybe it's the third animal. Maybe it's the antelope. I don't care either, because it works. And then the last one would be a double, a double border. Okay, well, that's good. So I can click on submit and continue. It says, yeah, it worked for all of them. Again, you'd have to scroll through these, but um, I think it would have been probably more hurtful to put more of those pictures on there. And I don't know, my screen's kind of small. So we're good. We get the credit. Submit and continue. Takes us to the badge. You know, the badge isn't worth any credit, but whatever. And that's it.